Hello everyone, I'm Pushkar Gaikwad and in this video, I'm going to show you with step-by-step -step instructions how to install Pixel Experience based on Android 11 on your device. If you find this video useful, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to get more such videos in the future. Before we dive into the actual steps, there are certain things that you have to note. This video is about normal Pixel Experience and not the Pixel Experience Plus. The ROM developers had said the Plus builds will come out early next year that is around January 2021 and I will definitely make a video on it when it does come out. I am using a POCO F1 device in this video but the steps will mostly be the same for any other device. You might lose your data in the process so make sure to take a complete backup of your device and I personally recommend doing a clean install anyway. No OTA, no over the air updates. Currently, the limitation is you have to manually download and flash the build. No Delta updates. Previously, newer builds and updates were available in smaller Delta files around 300 MB. As of now, newer builds will be available only in full large size files, which is around 1 to 1.5 GB. This might or might not change in the future. These are betas. There will be bugs. Things can get messy. Some features might and might not work. And in worst case, your device might feel unusable as a daily driver. So consider all of this before flashing. If not, then wait for the builds to stabilize. I will make a follow up video on it whenever it does happen. Therefore subscribe to get it whenever it does come out. There are also some prerequisites. Your bootloader has to be unlocked. You should have a TWRP recovery installed. Your device should have minimum 50% battery charged. Now with all of this out of the way, let's get started. First of all, let's download the build file. Go to download.pixelexperience.org, search for device. I am using POCO F1. You can search for your device. Steps should be pretty much the same for any device. You can see the beta label against 11, expand 11, scroll down if required. And now click on latest build and click download. Your build should start downloading. File size will be slightly more than 1 GB. Once the download is complete, we move on to the next step. Quick reminder, make sure you have backed up everything from your phone. On your phone, boot into recovery. This can be done by holding the volume up and power button at the same time. Go to wipe, advanced wipe and select Dalvik, cache, system and data. And now swipe to wipe. Once it's complete, tap on back, back and now tap on format data. I recommend doing this step as this does a complete clean install. Type yes to continue. Once it's complete, tap on back, back, back. Now copy the build file that we had downloaded to your phone. Also copy disable force encryption file. If you don't have one, I will leave a link for the file in the description of this video. Now on your phone, go to install, tap the pixel experience build file. Now remove the check mark in front of reboot after the installation is complete and swipe to confirm flash. For me, this step took around 1 minute. Now tap back and select the disable force encryption file. You can now select reboot after installation is complete and now swipe to confirm flash. Once the flashing is complete, your device will restart and you should see the Google logo. As this is a first boot. It might take some time to set up the fresh OS. For some, it can take around 10 minutes. Mine got completed within a minute. Now complete the onboarding and setup process. As you can see, this is indeed Android 11. 
So that's it. This completes the installation guide. You can follow me on other social platforms where I will post about any issues or features that I discover while using this build. Do give this video a thumbs up if you found it useful and subscribe so that you get the follow up videos whenever I post them. I make tech videos ranging from iOS to Android, custom ROMs, reviews, tips and tricks, science fiction, movies and comics and a new video comes out every week. You can also follow me on other social platforms where I post even more frequently and answer any of your questions and problems in one to one chats. I am Bushkar Vaikwad and see you folks in the next one. Stay safe.